Let's talk about how this cinematic masterpiece came to existence. This journey starts all the way back in the 2000s when Morbius was acquired by Sony so that they could feature them in the Blade movies but never actually did. So then skip to 2018 and we see with the release of Venom, Sony is trying to create their own universe of Spider-Man related characters and Morbius was announced to be the second film of that series of movies. And so by 2019 the script was finalised and there was a director attached to the name, Daniel Espinosa. And here's where the problems start. Around July 2019 after the release of Far From Home, Marvel and Sony had a dispute which led to Spider-Man being removed from the MCU and then re-brought back in with Spider-Man's ability to now hop between different universes with Marvel and Sony. This meant that Spider-Man can be used in the Sony universe, so this seemed like a good sign for Morbius. Then come 2020... Then come 2020 and the movie is set to release mid 2020 with the trailer releasing at the start of 2020 and we see different versions of Spider-Man existing in the trailer which confused loads of fans whilst also hyping it up. But then obviously 2020 had Corona as we all know which delayed the movie even further and it kept on getting delayed due to reshoots until the release of No Way Home which then screwed everything up even more because it meant that they had to reshoot again delaying the movie to April 2021 and then it released and nobody watched it but the internet went wild with memes so much that Sony thought that they could re-release it and people would watch it again. Except they didn't. After its second re-release and it grossing over more billion dollars in the box office, Sony then posted on their social media platforms a video of Jared Leto receiving the script of a planned Morbius sequel called It's Morbin Time and fans go crazy. 